I started writing graffiti like every kid did that I was hanging around with when we were kids. If you couldn't talk over a record very well, then it was the other thing that you did. If they were allowed to put a 25-foot high Ronaldo at the end of my street in a crucifix position selling tyres, then there's no reason why I can't do something less offensive somewhere else. This is the question, you know, who, is, who is really doing it worse? Is it the billboard people or the writers, you know? Especially if you paint in somewhere like London or any 24-hour city, then I mean you can get a really great image up in about 30 or 40 seconds. There's this strange thing that like the city's down to architects or politicians and that normal people shouldn't have a say in the way their city looks. I believe what I'm doing is fair enough and it makes the city look better. If you had enough people putting it out there with quality, then the city would be a more interesting place to live. There's times when, um, you know, you would do nothing if you sat at home had a good think about all the consequences that could possibly happen. Some people do say graffiti is ugly. Well, a lot of graffiti is ugly. That's kind of, um, it's a product, isn't it, of society, so it's bound to be pretty ugly, you know. I think hard about the pictures that I paint and, um, you know, if you don't like it, you paint over it. I don't know, people are very fond of behaving themselves. That's the thing these days, you know. I mean, it never ceases to amaze me at how people, you know, how more people don't just decide to go out and rustle something up on a street. Oh, the old bill are a big part of the creative process in you making the picture, because in how you cut it, how much detail you put into it, and then, you know, how you think you can pull it off. They're like this third party who are in there helping you make these decisions on a design, right? I'm into using the Mona Lisa because uh, it goes back to that whole question about graffiti, is it art or is it not? And even if you put a bazooka on a shoulder, it's still kind of art. It's a better spot than the Saatchi Gallery, you know, painting off Leicester Square. You know, to get on the tube up to Swiss Cottage and kiss the arse of some Tory to collect your work for people to see your picture, you know? Your picture is there. train driver sees you on the track side, then they just ring the, they ring the British Transport Police straight away. You've got minutes before they um, turn up. If you can be asked to get up in the middle of the night, go out on with paint and paint pictures that people see when they're sitting on a train on their way into work, then you are in the entertainment business. And obviously you're also in the start of revolution business, and a bit of both is probably ideal.